So, football back. Football back. I ain't even going to say too much. If you know, you know. Our whole division lost besides us. That makes us what? First place? And y'all keep talking about, oh, the Chiefs, the Chiefs, the Chiefs. They lost first. But anyway, that's not even why I'm here. I don't want to be too petty. Let's talk 2K. 2K24. Well, we had it for what? Five days. And a lot of people been complaining. I ain't going to front you. I kind of like it. I kind of rock with it. I kind of rock with it. I like the new badge system. You know, sometimes when they drop some new shit, it need to be patched up. It need to be fixed up, of course. The shit hard. The scoring is tough as hell. The shooting is almost impossible. But we getting there. It's getting better, especially for me. I got a power forward. Two-way diamond inside-out threat. Now, that by far is the longest name I ever had for a build out of every 2K I ever played. Dreamcast, since the first one. Of course, it wasn't the same. You couldn't build back then, but you know what I'm saying? Since we got these illustrious builds, this by far is one of the most craziest builds I ever played with. Now, this build get quite a few good dribble moves. You know, LeBron, Kawhi, Jimmy, Luka. But if you want to be a little more mobile, just change your speed, make them a little bit faster, and put your speed with ball to at least a 70 to unlock a little bit more dribble animations. But for as it is right now, this build is very mobile, and it's a dominant build. It wasn't nothing like that 2K20 or that 2K19 last cleaning lock era. It was that, that, that was crazy. The build I got for a power forward, he do everything. He just ain't got that much speed. He's not as fast as I wanted him to be. But he fast enough. Besides the point. A lot of people have been complaining about the badge system, the regression, the progression, all that. Yeah, it's it's a little tweaked out. It's a little tweaked out. However, the way it's built is designed to show who's nice and who's not. A lot of people complaining about the shit that they want to cheese on or they want to shoot from half court. Things that need to be fixed, like I was saying before. But um overall, I think it's I think it's way better. It's too damn expensive though. This is the most expensive game I ever played. Like, I done bought season passes on, on Call of Duty, of course, shit like that. The extra money, buy little characters, little guns, whatever you may like. But as far as 2K, let me explain something to you. Out of that build, I was just telling you I got that two-way diamond inside-out threat. It cost me 85 thousand vc just to put up the driving dunk i said handle but i meant the mid-range and the strength now eighty-five thousand vc just for those three attributes it don't got nothing to do with me putting my three up my pass accuracy defensive offensive rebound like it's it's a lot i'm with the old no no paid grind you feel me it's getting ridiculous uh i definitely don't see myself like, I spent $200 before making a bill just for me to stop playing the game after a few months. You get what I'm saying? It's going to cost me about almost $300 just to max this build out. I got a few attribute points, so as of now, I only can go to 91. And it's going to cost me every bit of almost 200 VC, 200,000 VC, just to max them out at this point. Yet alone getting the 95, 96, 90, you see what I'm saying? So it's either... You're going to really play this game or you're going to pay to win. And a lot of people I see choosing the pay to win method. If that's, your, if that's your niche, then it's cool because the game is actually based on skill. The way this game is designed is built on skill. If you look at the badges, your attribute points unlock the badges, right? Cool. Now, you get all these badges that you would never get on any other game because, for one, 40 to 50, 60 uh, badges is, is, is crazy. 60 badges that you can actually get on your on your so you get all these attributes you, you build you build your play up as you hit these attribute points 71 to you get 80 to you get 90 you get all these badges now the only way to get these badges to actually do something is if you know how to play that part of the game see a lot of bills that got the pro touch badge on hall of fame for instance a lot of people don't like doing a layup meter but a lot of people like the dunk meter same story. Now you got precision dunker, which is an actual skill dunk. You got to learn how to skill dunk. A lot of people don't want to use that. I see a lot of people don't got their layup meters on. They're going to take their shot meter off because you get the boost. Same thing with badges like spin cycle and bunny. 
If you're not a Euro step player, if a pro hop player, spin cycle, you know, you post moves. That's a lot of people that don't use those badges. They just feel like, oh, if I unlock the animation for it, if I at least get it bronze, I'll be decent. Don't work like that. They got a whole shooting slump method. It's two or three shots in a row, you're going in the shooting slump. It's like I was saying before, it's almost impossible to shoot. And I see some people that got the shooting down pat. For me, with this build, I got an 83 ball. This build is only at a 73, maybe, 74, something like that. At a 65, three ball, I was hitting at least four a game. I'm talking my career. I haven't took them to the park yet. I, I wasn't even I wasn't even that desperate because I wasn't paying to go play the game. I wanted to see what the career had to offer. And so far, I think the career is pretty dope. But I want to know what y'all think of the game so far. Um, me, I think it's a win. Um, it's more realistic than any other 2K that we played before. I think, of course, with some tweaks and some patches, it's going to be more balanced. See people complaining about the post defense and people shooting the ball from half court, greening, dead eye, and unpluckable is the most two badges that people have been complaining about and want that to be fixed ASAP. And I don't blame them. I haven't had any issues with my dead eye. Unpluckable, I haven't unlocked yet. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But um, hopefully, we get a patch for that soon if that's really the case. A lot of people complaining about the uh, if you quit, you get banned for 30 minutes. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect. What's the point of getting in a game to run online when you know it's a possibility of you not winning? We all don't get in there like we're going to win every game. If you got that mindset, then stop playing the game. Because if you got to quit just because something not going your way or you want to sell or you're having an issue, you know it's a possibility of you having an off night. Stop acting like just because you're good in certain times, and I mean that you get on a game and you're going to be flawless every time. It don't work like that. You're going to play some comp players, and you're going to play some players that's not even worth talking about. But y'all got to knock off the madness, man. Y'all First thing y'all do is y'all complain. I don't know why y'all feel like y'all got this sense of entitlement. I get it. We all consumers. We all put our money. We all, gotta, we all can voice our opinion. But to, to be complaining just to be complaining, no. I think that if you quit, Banning you for a certain amount of time is a perfect method. And not wanting to lose so they don't affect their they, they rank and what they got going on. But it's to the point of time where it's like, yo, why would you, like, why even get in the game if you was just going to sell on purpose? Like, that's just stupid. So I think to stop all that selling and to get people to understand that this ain't, this ain't what you're going to do, I think that's perfect. The more you quit, the longer the time should be. That's simple. Just stop people from doing it overall. But you know, me, that's just my take on it. That's my opinion on it. I think what they're doing is, is, is finally in the right direction. A lot of people voice their opinion for the game to be this way. And now that we got it, and people still not, not satisfied. But I'm actually satisfied with it. 23, ha, take it back, keep it. But um, I had fun times. I had fun moments on there, too. So I can't even complain. I love the sport of basketball. So shout out to my Celtics, man. We got to do it this year. We got to get it done and stop. Like I was saying, football back as of now. Shout out to the Raiders playing the Bills next week as another underdog. At this point, dogs up. Let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Get notified. Let's take this ride.